Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I get so giddy when we get to talk about new makeup releases because it is so fun. So if you want to comb through everything that's coming out, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Couple good things going on. First of all, you will see this look on tomorrow. I hate when people say on tomorrow and I just did it. You'll see this look tomorrow for mimosas and makeup. This is from the Mothership X, the Pat McGrath palette. We're gonna be taking a, a deep dive into the palette and, and looking at some comparisons and just making two more looks. So I just finished that. Mm. All right, the other thing, I'll probably talk about it tomorrow as well. Beyonce's album is out and it's so good. I don't care if you don't like Beyonce. This is a feel good album. It just makes you feel confident, this album does. I mean, she's singing, she's rapping. It is called Renaissance and it is truly that. It even makes me wanna clean the house. Like, it makes me wanna pull weeds. It makes me feel like I can do anything. And I've only listened to it one time. I'm about to listen to it after this because I'm going clean. But yes, y'all, that album is just, just listen to it. That's all I can say. I cannot wait for the videos and the concert because I'm in there. I am in there. Okay. That's not why we're here. That's not why you're here. But I just had to share that. I'm going to go ahead and scoot on over so we can get into this new makeup. I feel like there's going to be a lot to talk about. Now we are going to be starting with my girl makeup release radar and I'm going to scroll on down to where I think we left off last week because I just can't remember. Okay, let's start with ColourPop. ColourPop is releasing their On The List collection. And although I'm not into this collection, I am loving the name On The List. Do y'all remember, okay, a different world? If y'all, okay, I'm 41, so just go ahead and put that out there. On uh, A Different World, where, what's her name? And she'd be like, on my list. That might have just been a moment that only I remember and that's okay. I'm not gonna edit it out. This reminds me of a spring palette, honestly. So you've got the eyeshadow palette, some, some sticks. Okay, we got the sticks and some lipsticks. This is going to be available at Ulta. It says July 31st. Easy pass, don't need it, but love that it's called on the list and not exactly sure what list uh, this is on. Not exactly sure the inspo, but that's okay. If you get it and I don't, like you get the inspo, let me know. This is an Ulta exclusive. Okay, makeup erasers got some food foodie erasers, no. Now, let's move on to YSL. This is the Bold High Pigment Lipstick. Now, I think YSL lipsticks are those like shine balmy ones. Those are the first luxury lipsticks I ever tried and they smell like pomegranate. They didn't come in this kind of packaging, but, or fruity, they were fruity. Ooh, these look kind of good, but right now I think I am going to pass on this. This says it's an innovative formula with red floral and grape oils. So it is supposed to help your lips feel moisturized for up to 10 hours, $39. And these are available right now at Neiman Marcus. Moving on, we have a palette from Rude Cosmetics. Now, let me, Tyrone just asked me, am I recording? Of course I'm recording, of course I am. So Rude Cosmetics is releasing their Roaring 20s Excessive Palette. Now this is already a no, and let me tell you why. Nobody wants the Huda Beauty Petri Dish Science Project Eyeshadow Shade. That. Nobody likes it. That's why I don't know why Huda is keeps doing it like sh two years in a row. Nobody wants that. Those Petri dish shades do not work on my eyes. Probably because they're hooded, so they crease, they don't dry, and they mess up my whole eyeshadow look. How about no, Scott? How about no to this? No, I'm jelly shadow. 
at least it's not as expensive as the Huda Beauty palette. It is $18.50. The palette color story itself is cute, cute, but no, that jelly, no, no. And what's it called? Schnozzle? Mm-mm. I don't, reefer. Okay, I can't do this. If you've tried Rude Cosmetics, let me know, but I just am not a fan of that marble shade. I really hope that Huda does not do that this year. I really hope that she just lays off because I'm gonna get that palette, but I stop it now. We have a palette couture color clutch from YSL Beauty in Desert Nude. Okay, so let me tell y'all. I have a really old video where I review one of these. It was um, Dress Me Wild. It was from Holiday 2020 and I sold it. It had like four blushes and it was more cool toned, I believe. Just wasn't really my style, but this, this actually is. Now I know it looks like it's nothing to write home about and it might not be, but I do like this color story. 10 brown and rosy eyeshadows infused with warm light inspired by the brand's heritage. Adorned with a leather effect chevron pattern and the Golden YSL logo iconic. Hmm. Uh, I, I like it. I, I've been going for, you know, just chilled out looks lately. I could get with this. Let's take a look here. Now, is it anything special? No, it is not. But I can just see a bunch of easy looks. Y'all know I'm trying to live that soft life. So like this is something where I could just grab and put some shades together and keep it pushing. I, I like these. I'm looking at the swatches. I like these colors. I like this color story. Matter of fact, kind of reminds me of the color story in the Odin's Eye palette that was on sale, the Alva palette. Alva 2, whichever one it is. So maybe that means I shouldn't get this. I have to compare. I like this. Now it says 84.77. Mm, it's available in France. These used to be over a hundred dollars. So if they did it for 84, I, I could see this being a possibility. Let's move on. Clue de Poe. What is this? A Radiant Sky Collection. Lipsticks, powder compact, and perfume coming soon. That's very, very fancy. I've never uh, tried this brand. I probably won't anytime soon. Girdalon has some quads. Ombre G quad eyeshadow palette. Looks like there are three of them. Oh, these are cute color stories. They are going to be a pass. They are, a, I don't know, $85. They're available now though, Sephora, for early access. And we have, oh, I think I saw this at Ulta today. Lac the Vitamin C Lactic 15% Firm and Bright Serum. Mm, $85, isn't no. it? Sorry. Looks like uh, Makeup by Mario has another shade. I don't know if this is, he just released another shade. I don't know if this is it or not, but that's a no. Gotta get through some of these things quickly. P. Louise has uh, the cheek of it, Liquid Blush. I don't know how much these are. These are very, very, vibrant flushes of color. Oof. These are now Shanta High with these prices is coming out with now. Oh my God, I commented. Talk about I actually love this one. I do. This is the Cougar Eye Quartet. Now, way back when I did have the Hummingbird one. I, that wasn't really my fancy, but I love this. I really do. That is pretty with the uh, lip glosses or lipsticks. Ooh, I love this color story. I'm sure I can find it somewhere else. I like it. Let me know what y'all think about this. I, oh, the ease. $78 is so pricey though. Let me show you the second one though. Look at this one with the black Jaguar. That looks nice y'all, don't lie. This is really nice, but you know, Chantecaille is super, super expensive. Matter of fact, I did purchase something from that 25% off sale because usually that's the only time when I can get something and it wasn't one of those blushes with the overspray. I got uh, the Goa bronzer and I got the Sunbeam highlighter and one of the lipsticks that go with that collection and uh, setting powder. 
But like, no, I cannot afford Shanta Kai on a regular at all. It is just pricey. But I know some people really love it and really swear by their products. Their skincare is off the wall price wise. So I do admire that from afar. I really like this, um, these quads though. Surprisingly, I really, really do. I really do. All right, we have an eye cream from Drunk Elephant. This is gonna be a pass. I know it's yeah, $60. I have the Kiehl's eye cream. I'm just gonna continue on with that and then see what else is in my little skincare drawer. So I'm sure it's nice. Like Drunk Elephant is a nice brand. They make nice products, but as of now, this is a no. We have news that Glossier is coming to Sephora. Now let me know if you all have used any products by Glossier or from Glossier. I have not, but I'm sure this is a really great move for the brand. There's a restock of this BT21 collection from ColourPop. So I guess this one did really well. I don't know, or you all were telling me what BT21 is or who they are, but the, let's see. Oh, the restock is available now. So I'm not sure if this is still available. Now we have a collab between Kathleen Lights and El Maquillage. El Maquillage. This is going to be a pass. Is Kathleen Lights, is she still on YouTube? So I, I think I came into the YouTube game, like, I don't want to say past her. I don't know if she's still on or not. Maybe she is. I have to check. Now Ed's Bell has the Cool Summer Palette. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? This is reminding me a bit of the Nomad Paradise Islands palette. So if you see this and you like it, check out the Nomad one, or if you have the Nomad one, you might not need to get this one because they are very similar. Do I have that here? Hold on, we're in luck. Look y'all, it's very, very close, right? So if you, to have this one you know you might not want to get the one from it's bell because you're going to have the same thing there's 16 shades here the nomad palette has 18 shades so i think the um the nomad palette is the better value 48 I dollars i don't know i think so because the nomad you can use a code like my code is for his face, but you don't have to use my, my code and I don't get any money from it or anything, but then you can just get 10% off. So see, just, just saying, if you like this palette, cause this is cute. It's not a palette that I think I would really get a ton of use out of just on the color story, but I did like the looks that I created with the Nomad one. So that's just something to think about. And y'all know my heart, <laughs> my heart was so happy. Like so many people tagged me like, Kara, finally, you're going to get your chance. Where Tay came back, honey. I still think, let me just check now. Now this is not going to mean anything for tomorrow or for the day y'all see the video, but I think they really restocked this palette for real, like a good amount because I kept checking to see if it was still available and it was. So let's just have a gander at the website as of, you know, right now and C is Muerte still here. And it is. So Muerte came back, it is $58. I purchased the uh, Illumination, is that how you say it, the highlighter. And then I saw that if you purchased $75, you got that same highlighter for free. Didn't matter, I got it. I spent $75 so I could get, got it for uh, shipping for free. And I am just so happy <laughs> to have this. Like, I've been waiting, like, come on bring it back you know and a few months ago a couple i think it was a couple months ago actually um we saw they were like looking like they were in the little factory room and they had them wear a tape palette so i'm really happy that melt decided to do this like just give us what we want we will buy it we will buy it and for those people if you're watching and you have a wear tape palette on makari on sale for eighty dollars hundred dollars two hundred forty dollars and it's in good condition shame on you shame because people are paying it people are buying it and now we can get a new a fresh one and i got me a fresh one for 58 dollars fresh I'm talking about some good 240. you would not believe i mean you would not believe what they do on makari like they have the whole a more eternal collection missing stuff six hundred dollars no not me let me get back to the task so yeah that went on sale yesterday 
I was very ecstatic about it and just happy for us all. Now, Beauty Bay has the New Mood Eyeshadow Palette, 20 shades, it's probably like 15 bucks, let's see, 18 bucks. Um, I don't really like this at all, so I don't really have an issue with like Beauty Bay's eyeshadows or anything. I just don't really care for this color story. It's a bit over the place, all over the place, and it's big. Um, so I've been trying to stay away from those types of palettes because I have the Opulence palette and the Wilderness one and I never use them ever. So this is going to be a pass. We have a collection from Colored Rain. This is the Secret Garden collection. A nice little six pan with some matte liquid lipsticks and two liners. The full collection is $50. This is very cute. And this is going to be available on August 1st. Um, it's okay. I don't think I like that light yellow in there. And that is all matte. I would have liked one shimmer, but that's just me. But I think the, you know, the little vibe is cute, like Secret Garden. Yes, I could see that. I'm just trying to focus on like the important things. We have a foundation coming out from RMS Beauty. This is the Revolve Natural Finish Liquid Foundation. Uh, this is water resistant and sweat resistant. It's a skincare makeup uh, situation. So it's got a whole bunch of claims here. $48. This is available now. Um, I am not going to get this because I decided that I needed to go ahead and get this. Let me show you because I said I wasn't getting it. So I do have the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation here from Hourglass. Picking out a shade online for that. No, I had to go to the store because that, that just wasn't going to work. I don't, I, I would have been all messed up. They seem to run very warm. I will say that. So if you're interested, I have the shade 11. I think it says medium neutral. Yeah. So they have, you know, several medium shades, but you know, they vary in the lightness or whatever, but that the warm was just warm. And I feel like I can go warm sometimes, but not that daggone warm. Okay. Moving on, Looksy Beauty is releasing the Wanderlust collection, and you've got these shades here. They are twelve dollars each, or seventy for the bundle. So these are pretty. I am gonna pass on these. You know, I'm really trying to save any singles that I want for Black Friday because they will be there. So I'm gonna just pass. Mora Cosmetics has a cream bronzer, twelve dollars each. These are available now. And I have enough bronzers in my life, so I have to say no. Now, ColourPop again. This is the third time. They have this Matte About Hue palette. Cute name. Rainbow palette. They've got a few transition shades in here. So this doesn't exactly give me the Blend Bunnies vibe, but kind of, you know. I don't need a palette like this because I have the Blends palette. But I could see if you didn't have that and you wanted just a palette that's gonna have all the mattes that you need um, to complement a look, this could be a good move. I think the difference between this and maybe something like Blends is Blends has more transitions in it than this. I like that this has, you know, the brown and the uh, like the kind of um, it's a mustardy brown, but I believe the Blends has brown has black gray you know, it has all your transitions so this is cute it's going to be available august 4th at 12 p.m cst 1 p.m est but uh this is going to be a pass <gasps> somebody said five years ago this would have been awesome today we have superior blend bunnies palettes pass and blend bunny said thank you oh my thank you so much for the love <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, that's that. Coming, we got Beauty Bakery coming out with some waffle things, lipsticks. Uh, these are gonna be a pass. They're gonna be. Oh, they are at. Um, they're probably on their website and maybe Ulta. Twenty-two dollars a piece. Seen a lot of lipstick sales too for the National Lipstick Day. So now, what is this? Oh, Darling Nikki. Oh, like from Prince. This is a, a trichrome highlighter. Ooh, that's pretty. Now, this is gonna be a pass for me because I have my Kaleidos highlighters, especially Space Age Prophecy. Like, that's the only highlighter I need like that. And I have highlighters from Unearthly Cosmetics and like Divina. So, like, as far as my like, galactic highlighters, I am covered. This is cute. 
um, if you like this type of space age highlighter and this it says it's multi-use it could be an inner corner highlight eyeshadow and eyeshadow topper but you can put on your highlighting areas as well oh god okay nba cosmetics is releasing your iridescent bubbles pal you already know the drill so i'm not even gonna get into it they're the same as all these other brands so don't get all the shimmer palettes y'all you will start to become disappointed because see we have pink crush with the lucid dreams these shimmer formulas they are identical so find the color story that you like and get that palette do not get them all take it from someone who has made the mistake Ooh, trixie cosmetics and kimchi they are collabing the bff forever collection mm, see i like trixie and i like kimchi but I don't like this palette. Neutral mattes and shimmers, colorful glitters. Mm -mm. Ooh, with a highlight. Oh, it's WTH highlight. I said with a highlight, I can't. Blush, they have a blush. Oh, they have their lipsticks. This is cute. It's just not something that I need. Oh, I, I might need this fan. This 27 inch giant wide fan. I'm talking about keeps your beat intact. Yes, I like that. How much is the fan? $20. Okay, this is available now. It is gonna be a no, but this is a cute collection. And I like, I like both Trixie and Kimchi. Now, Tam has the Thursday Tea Party palette. So sad, y'all. So sad. Available on the 31st. The shades names are Thunder in the Far, Kissing Ring, Squirrels, Triumph, Turn Down, Fish Laughter. Come on, Tammy be doing it with the descriptions, y'all. This is like a little grungy situation. Mm -hmm. Just have to admire from afar. We've got the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer by Too Faced. It also has some hyaluronic acid, aloe leaf extract, daikon seed extract, and squalene. $29 a piece available on August 2nd. Let me know what y'all think. I think Born This Way was the very first concealer that I ever tried. Hmm. Game Beauty has a new collab coming soon. We'll have to come back on that. Talked about more wear today. Okay, Cara Beauty has the Leo eyeshadow palette. I've heard a lot of people say they like Cara Beauty. $16.99, available now. Very cute color story. Um, it's not something I need or that I think I would really use like that. So... Maybe brands should reach out, just reach out to the public for ideas. Because this, like put out a poll on your stories. Hey, would you like to see us do a collab with Applebee's? Please hold for a very important message. I guarantee you the answer would be new. So here we have this Saucy Gloss collection. And this is a collab between Winky Lux and Applebee's of all places. Your next makeout sesh is about to get saucy with all four flavors of Saucy Gloss. If your makeup routine or dating routine is feeling a little same old, spice things up with Get Me Hot Buffalo. Feeling the sweet and spicy vibes? Pucker up with Sweet Chili Kiss. Going for a more glowing goddess look? A swipe of Be My Honey Pepper and you'll be golden. Want to look like a smoke show? Honey Barbecue Tea will bring the heat. So, Get Me Hot Buffalo is inspired by the Applebee's Classic Buffalo Wing Sauce. And Sweet Chili Kiss is inspired by the Sweet Asian Chili Wing Sauce. And then the Be My Honey Pepper is inspired by the Honey Pepper Sauce. And the Honey Barbecue Tea is inspired by the Honey Barbecue Wing Sauce. Okay, I love wings, okay? Wings are one of my favorite foods in the world. I love wings. I make, oh my God, I sound like Oprah. Remember? Oh my God, y'all remember that commercial over and she used to be like, I love bread. I love bread. Like, it was just like that. I love wings, I do. I will not pay $18, no, $65 for, I'm flabbergasted. I, and that's how I feel. I don't know what to say. I don't even have anything witty. <laughs> like, usually I have something witty, but I don't, I really don't. I'm, I'm taken aback. 
with the saucy gloss. I, I gotta move. I gotta move. I don't know what's going on. Our, our friend Jacqueline Hill's got something else coming out. This is a Strawberry Fields collection. I've not tried Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics. I don't really have an interest. But let me know if y'all y'all like Jacqueline Hill. I know everybody seems to try it. I know she had like that lipstick situation. But I, I think she, she's beyond that. But um, yeah, I just haven't really seen anything where I'm like, ooh, that's, that's the one I'm going to try. So, ooh, mmm. Immortality Liquid Eyeliner from Unearthly Cosmetics. Now this looks nice. Keep an eye for that. Applebee's though. <sighs> this is ridiculous. All right, let, let's go on. P. Louise has, what is this called? The Money Shot. I'm moving on y'all. I'm so sorry. I just can't do this. Now let, let's look at this. This is promising. We have two palettes from Adept Cosmetics, Minka and Gianna. Are these the highlighting palettes, highlighter palettes? I feel like I saw one of these palettes being a highlighter palette. I'm not, uh, I don't need a highlighter palette, but I'm always interested in seeing what Adept comes out with. I just think everything they do is creative. This is gonna be available this fall, so we'll just keep keep our, our eyes peeled. Do we have another restock of the Serenity palette? Looks like it. This is by Cosmic Brushes. This palette, y'all, I'm like, do I need to get this palette? Because this palette seems to be, be doing the damn thing. I mean, I've seen some people do some looks and it looks really nice. It's nice and nature-y to me, but um, I'm not sure if I would get much use out of it, but, but it's pretty. It's definitely pretty. The swatches look amazing and it's $25. Like, you, you what, what can you say? Oh, there's a code. Radar 10, yes. Okay, an affiliated code, yes. So you, you would get it for like, what, $23? Something like that. If I'm skipping anything, it's because I probably already talked about it at some point. Is this out now? Oh, the Luxie Beauty collection is out. I'm not getting that now. Let me tell you, I've got some great shades from Luxie Beauty though. I'm just not buying any singles right now. I probably wouldn't buy those. Now, what brand is this? Oh, more Too Faced. These are Coco Bowl Cream Lipsticks. Six shades. I think that's super pricey. And we lastly have REM Beauty with the sweetener concealer. Talked about this because I think this is coming out in 60 shades. 60 shades for endless possibilities in a full horizon line of 60 shades. Full horizon, you know what, I agree. That is a full horizon. So it's $30, I'm lying. It is, I don't know how much it is actually. Blurring Primer is 30, Dream Cloud Blender, 15 and blotting papers 15. I don't know. I mean, I just feel like the great thing is is you will be able to find your shade for sure. Good for you, Ariana Grande. It's got the hyaluronic acid and ashwagandha and vitamin E. So hey, I don't think you know what? 60 I don't know what other brands have 60 shades of concealer. So good for her. Good for Ariana Grande. Just well, I was gonna say keep making music, but I like Ariana Grande but like I miss Rihanna but now I got Beyonce so this is how it is that's all we have for makeup release radar thank you Jamie for always giving us the tea so now we're gonna go to trend mood <laughs> now you know what now this is a problem I have right here now I already talked about the saucy gloss, but you gonna put the saucy gloss on the sauce, cause I love me some saucy wings. You gonna, you gonna put the gloss on the saucy wings. <gasps> this it, I'm about to leave. I'm about to leave because this is too, no, look at her, she look hungry. I cannot do this. I'm upset. I just, talking about just when we thought we have seen it all. This is a collab music exorcism. No one wants this. What else do we got here? Look at some comments. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> oh, that was, <laughs> but why? Oh God, who asked for this? This is terrible. No, nope, running out of ideas. Everybody feels the same. Like, come on. I'm tired. We gotta, we gotta, I can't. What's happening here? Chris, oh, we're gonna have a Kylie and Chris Jenner collection. Okay, I think we're good. Let's 
Let's see, maybe there's nothing else. Like, ooh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Let's go to um, Chic Profile Official. I think we're good. Okay, it looks like it. Ooh, what's this? This is the, um, we talked about this Dior um, situation. I was hoping the colors weren't right for this. This is, um, this is a mess. You ain't getting me um, on the okie doke with this quint. All of these eyeshadow colors except the middle one look like my skin tone. Who can wear this? Even somebody lighter than me probably can't. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting riled up. I'm getting riled up and I don't want to. So she's got this, is this the fall collection? Oh, 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 oh. This is the fall ombre intense site. Is that how you say it? Intense it, doesn't matter. Let's see. It looks like Divine Rose. It looks like Mothership 10. It looks like four of the shades, three of the shades in Mothership 10. I guess like I, I would have no justification of getting that right. I wouldn't. Sure wouldn't. Not with that plum shade when I got 50 plum shades in my Pat McGrath palettes. And the gold. Those two. Mm -mm. Nope. Can't get it. I, I don't talk myself out. I'm telling you right now though, this, um, this clutch right here. I know it's not special, but it's nice. When, when is this coming out? Full. Let me just stop talking myself into stuff. I think that we're good. We talked about this Dior uh, situation as well. So it is being spotted all about the world, just not here. I don't know how I really feel about like getting them. That green, greenish one looks nice. Ugh, the lipsticks always have my heart. But I'm gonna tell you what I really like is this red mascara. That's, that's where it's at, that Dior show red mascara and that rosewood rose polish. And those lipsticks that went in the middle, honey. Ah, uh, let's be done, friends, because we don't need to be making ourselves like want additional things. So I'm gonna stop here, yes. All right, y'all, I hope that was fun because I always have a great time going through these releases. I always tell you guys during the week, like I always like pictures and look, but I don't get a chance to really look in depth until I sit down and do this video. So these are like, like my real reactions, you know what I'm saying? So let me tell you where I'm at. I like that YSL clutch, to be honest. Do I like it enough to purchase it? I am not sure at this time. Like, do I like it that much? I don't know, but I do like that. It's like a real easy vibe. Pat McGrath, that video's up. I'll have another video up tomorrow. Where Tay? I did order that with the highlighter. We will be doing some look inspo with that. And maybe finally I can share my Muerte dupe palette that I made two years ago that I never filmed because some people may still need it, need the dupes, but it looks like they were really well stocked because I honestly did not expect the collection to still be available or for the palette to still be available. So that is great. Good job, Mel, because you know, you know how it is sometimes when stuff runs out. I honestly had decided against this soft glow foundation, but I caved. I watched several reviews and I really enjoy like the products that I have from Hourglass. I have like the ambient powders I, and, and they're old, you know, they're probably like two years old, but those are some of my favorite powders in that trio. I love the way it makes my skin look in person. I love the two, uh, I have a few Hourglass blushes, but the, um, what's it called? At Night and Sublime Flush are two of the best blushes in my collection. And it's because they have that ambient powder mixed in it. So I, I was like, I'm probably gonna like this. And I wanted to just see how they, um, just how the glow or the ambient is kind of played out in this foundation. It was not a need, it was a want. And I had gift cards. Okay, this Pacifica night cream I purchased, Wake Up Beautiful Overnight Retinoid Cream. I feel like I've mentioned this already, but yeah, got that. And then the Billie Eilish uh, perfume. As far as makeup, let me just look. Oh, I got those things I mentioned to you from Chantecai and I have that Odin's eye palette. That's, that's, that's what I got. So that's it. That is it. I just know fall is coming, holiday is coming. And I, what I want to do is kind of sit down and maybe look at who I'm looking at for holiday. Cause I'm not going to be able to do it all. Nope. And y'all guess what? I am switching grades next year. So I'm no longer gonna be second grade. I'm gonna be fourth grade, y'all, fourth grade. I have not taught fourth grade in a really long time. So I think that I'm going to have to purchase some 
just some things, you know, everything I have is, I don't want to say babyish, but you know what I mean? Second grade and fourth grade, it's a whole different world. And I'm excited for it because maybe they'll be a little more mature and maybe they won't be calling my name every five seconds. Oh, but see this Lakeshore magazine came in. Um, this is like the teaching stuff and it just really got me to thinking, let me show you y'all what I really want. So my, um, and you can turn the video off now cause I ain't talking about makeup anymore. My classroom is going to have tables. I had tables last year, but the problem is that I always had these bulky carts at the end of the tables where the kids could like store their stuff. But this is what I want. See these? I'm trying to show you like his makeup. See these chair buddies? So you get these chair buddies and you put the chair buddies on the back of their chair. And they can put their pencils there, everything that they need, their little name tag. Cause I usually have the name tags that have other resources on it. It's not gonna just say Patrick. It's gonna have like a hundreds chart, like just a whole bunch of different things on there for them. And I'm into this. Now, $8.99 is, yeah. I'm trying to think of how many kids I'm gonna have. I probably should just get off because I'm now I'm talking about stuff that y'all probably do not care about. But I know some of y'all watching are in education. So you already know like what's going on right now is about to be that time of year. The summer is almost done. I go back to work on August 19th. So I need to get my theme situated. I can't do like a I did boho rainbow, bohemian rainbow. Let me know if y'all wanna see me do a vlog or something of me setting up my room. I could do that. And I gotta get my door done. I have um, some ideas. Oh, I need some stickers. Yeah, I'm excited y'all. Okay, this is not a part of the video, but I was saying all that to say, I have to like really try to plan out what I'm purchasing makeup wise. Cause like, this is like a hobby and it's expensive, but then it's like, I have stuff I really have to buy for work and I'm trying to do a bit of traveling. So now when I buy stuff, I'll be like, but this money could go on my travel fund account. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to think about all of that. So thank y'all for hanging out with me, for taking out your time. Just, you know, hanging out this morning, this Saturday morning. I hope you have a great day ahead, whether you're staying at home, going out, whatever you're doing. And I hope that you are just hanging in there. And we wanna be more than hanging in there. But sometimes with everything that's going on, I feel good just hanging in there. I'm, I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.